Hello everyone, this is a video about this Anker uh, wall charger, the model number is 737 and this one is 120 watts and it has all the uh, capability of charging quick charge, power delivery and uh, all of that uh, good stuff that is compatible with Apple and Samsung devices and um, unfortunately we just have three uh, outlets one of them is the type A USB and two of them is type C the top one is 100, the second one is 660 while you are using it, and this one is uh, 40, 20 to 40, it depending on what you are taking out of these, especially the second one. Anyway, uh, I was looking for uh, a wall charger that is compact and you can take it with you everywhere, not very heavy compact and this one um, I preferred to purchase with this cable and this cable is uh, a 140 watts cable that is really good I show you that so the star of the show at the moment is this one there are loads of uh, because uh, I opened this before and sorry about that I opened this before just uh, the sticker and all of that so it was in here I put this aside and this sticker was stuck on here just to I don't know why it's telling me that one because everything is written here um, maybe to avoid any dust to go in there anyway let's get rid of this sticker as well not necessary but I'm just showing you this and this is GAN prime GAN is gallium nitrate that is making everything smaller and cooler but the price of this one is going really down some people they are selling this for 79 pounds but some people because the new model is coming out is out obvious uh, actually because of that they are selling this for 50, I think it's 49 up to 59 pounds 49 if you find it I uh, advise you to get it because it's really good the new one is the, these prompts they are foldable and they are going uh, and going flat with this flush with this so uh, there are more uh, uh, portable as well and a smaller anyway it has nothing here there are some micro writings there that you cannot read but i show you the inside of the box and uh, other stuff that it comes with this actually nothing comes with this one it's just uh, just this and that is all and this one the only page that you need let me just see first is this one and then is this one is very tiny and is telling you which one is capable of what what sort of voltage and the power delivery and all of that uh, and we are going to have a little bit of uh, <coughs> fun with this and this one is the cable the box this is the 7 series cable and this is the cable that it comes with it it just says anchor but it doesn't say any 
uh, wattage of this. Let me see. Mm. It's amazing that it says here, only in here, that is 140 watts. Anyway, now that we know, we put this aside and we open this. And put this in the main. Turn it on, and we do some experiments. For instance, uh, we put it to the most uh, uh, powerful one, which is the top one, and then I, I uh, somehow I prepared some sort of demonstration here and this one I'm going to make another video about these stuff these power delivery triggers in my other videos and then uh, as you see as soon as we connect let me see if I can turn it this way and I show you this power delivery is just uh, gives you the option of 5, 9, 15, 12, 15 and then 20 it just triggers it so now before I uh, have to Connect it to my mobile phone or whatever. This one is offering us all of this, and unfortunately, this one is not capable of providing 12 volts, and it's just 5, 9, 15, and uh, 20, and then goes back to 5 and i have another one here that is uh, set to 12 and if i just put it there let's see you see it because it's not capable of 12 it's just going back to 9. anyway that's that's really it i think the um let me just try the other one to see if the other one is capable of doing 12 as well but unfortunately the top one couldn't provide that 9 15 yes this one is the same but I guess the USB type A is capable of 12 let's see 20 and five so let's let's try the USB type A for this experiment I, I have to use one of these to connect this 140 watt to the USB Let's see if it goes in there and you see this one let me just put this 12 this is set as 12 let's see if he's capable of doing that unfortunately not let's try this one so I guess that connector is not really good, it's not uh, allowing to uh, the voltage to be triggered, but um, this one has some sort of uh, capability that if I want to go through that is, is getting too long uh, video. Anyhow, I just, this video, I made it just to show you uh, this. Uh, let me just put this cable away and the star of the show bring it here 
and is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet as well but in general this is a good compact uh, wall charger with a power delivery and everything so I use this to charge my other stuff for instance I have the soldering iron that I use it with this one sometimes when I don't have the other uh, wall adapter uh, at hand and I just want to do something very quickly so I use this one Anyway, and, and it performs well, uh, delivers uh, 20 uh, volts easily, but I'm afraid it's getting um, a little bit hot actually. Um, when I'm powering it, uh, powering my laptop or other stuff that is, uh, you know, capable of 100 watts, is just getting really hot although that is GAN prime or GAN uh, but it still is getting too hot uh, not to touch but you know uh, it's, it's just uncomfortably hot and all the connectors that I'm connecting to this is getting hot as well anyway it is not bad but I'm in search of a better one as well but for the time being this one is really helpful anyway i hope you like this video and until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time